Welcome to the F-18 for DCS. This is an easy tutorial on how to start the plane, launch it off a carrier and land it again. First we'll close the canopy with Control c just so we can hear ourselves think. We're going to turn the batteries on with a right click on the battery switch to the lower right and once that's done we run through the fire test so we hold down the fire test buttons with a left and right click. Engine fire left. Engine fire left. With that done, we can start the APU, which is in the bottom left corner. Once that is available, we can crank the right engine with a right click on the engine ignition switch. We'll set our right throttle to idle and rotate bleed air all the way back to normal with some right clicks. Roll left, roll left. Flight controls, flight controls. We'll set the digital displays to day, we'll turn the HUD brightness up with the scroll wheel and we'll also turn up the brightness of the bottom screen in the same way. With that done we'll use the soft keys on the left digital display to go to the support menu and on the support menu the flight control subscreen. So the crosses you'll see here are errors we need to clear away the master caution by clicking on it twice. The next step is to set the INS to carrier, so that will start aligning while we're doing some other stuff in the background. We're now going to crank the left engine by clicking left click on the engine start switch. And once again move those throttles to idle for the left engine and wait for 60% thrust. This is when I spread the aircraft wings by right clicking on the wings switch. With that done we can stow the wings handle by scrolling up over the switch. We can also clear away those flight control system errors by holding down the switch to our left. As we scroll back up we can see the aileron and flap errors have cleared. We'll scroll down again, switch on the oxygen generator with a left click and turn the radar switch to operational with a right click. We're now going to set the flaps to up slash auto with two right clicks on the flap switch. We'll head over to the built-in test screen and we're going to click the FCS soft key. We're going to hold down the hotkey here which is Y but the physical switch is located to the right of a pilot seat if you want to hold that down instead. So while holding that hotkey click the FCS soft key on the right digital display. This runs the control system self test. Once that's done set flaps to half by a left click on the flap switch. We'll now switch the left digital display over to checklist to get the aircraft weight. So if the weight is less than 44 tons, set the trim to 16. If it's 45 to 48, set trim 17. If it's 49 or above, set trim to 19 and use afterburner for takeoff. Trim is found in the flight control menu and is adjusted upwards by right control and period keys. You can see here we're setting our trim for takeoff to 16 because the aircraft is light. We'll now configure the displays for takeoff. So we want our left screen to be showing the HUD and we want our right screen to be showing flight controls. So you'll see the INS is still aligning. There is a way to speed that up. If you go to the HSI menu and once there, click the standard heading hotkey. This uses the GPS to tell the plane where it is and it's done in 90 seconds. So with the INS all aligned, we can go to the control switch in the bottom right corner and set it to nav. And we're almost ready for flight. We just need to reconfigure our flight display. So we're going to flick the left display back to the HUD. Switch off the parking brake and we're good to go. If the aircraft is chopped, you can use the ATC menu to have those removed. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Copy. Wheel chocks are now removed. The 
For taxi, you'll want to remember holding the S hotkey increases the available angle for the nose well. Taxi as normal up to just behind the catapult that you'll be launching from. Once lined up, lower the launch bar and tap the hotkey U to raise the jet blast detector and be dragged onto the catapult. This is a good time to arm the ejector seat by left clicking on the ejector seat lever next to your seat. With that done, we are ready to launch. So like any catapult launch, you just bring the struttles up to full power and the catapult will launch you off the deck. As soon as you're in the air, set the flaps back to auto. There's an F hotkey for that and raise the gear. Again, there's a G hotkey for that. We're gonna brake right and head back past the carrier. Once straight and level, we can use the TACAN system to locate the carrier for landing. So click the TACAN button on the control panel, clear the uh, current scratch pad, dial in the TACAN number of the carrier, so 74, then press enter. Double click the on switch and then click the TACAN button on the left digital display to display the TACAN data on your HUD. So the carrier's location is now displayed on your navigation display and the carrier's distance from you is now displayed on your HUD. You can use left click and right click on the course switch to match the course on your navigation display to the course of the runway you're heading for. So the carrier's runway is at 13 degrees, so we're going to set our course to that and this will tell us which angle we need to be facing for our landing. So we turn back towards the carrier and we lower the landing hook, landing gear and full flaps. There are many ways to approach a carrier, some more complex than others, but for the initial approach I find the easiest way is just to line up my velocity vector so it's over the ship and then on final adjust to a meatball or visual approach. I try to hit a rough approach speed of 250 knots and then adjust that downwards as I get closer to the carrier for final. So now flying a purely visual approach onto the carrier, bringing speed down with speed brake and throttle. You can see my angle of attack is not on speed because I'm just flying completely by eye, but if you were flying proper case approaches onto a carrier, you'd want to get that nailed down. So thank you for watching this easy beginner's guide to the F-18 and carrier ops in DCS. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and I'll see you next time.